Hello everybody. First off, I separated different topics with different timestamps, so just click on the topic that you're interested in. There's a lot to talk about in Battlefield 2042, and I thought why not make a detailed video about everything you need to know along with the gameplay reveal. So here we go. And leave a like and subscribe, it helps a lot. Starting with the backstory, the first chapter is titled A Decade of Chaos. Starting from 2031 to 2035, there are several issues. Sea levels are rising, economics are collapsing, and alliances between different countries are breaking. And the world just seems to be getting worse because on 2033, October 9th, the world's first Category 6 storm hurricane set a hit, and I assume caused a lot of damage to places that are affected? No shit. Four months later, on 2034, January 11th, second Great Depression happened because of global food and fuel shortages, and on 2035, August 8th, European Union disbands following Germany's collapse, and due to this events, a lot of people lose their home and they unite together to try and find a secure and safe place to live. These people are just families, workers, doctors, engineers, and soldiers, you name it. These people with different cultures, backgrounds are forced together to survive, and they call themselves NOPADs, aka non-patriot. Second chapter, The New Normal, 2037. Through the previous hardships, humanity still finds ways to grow. New energy generation, desert irrigation, hydraulic leaves, and seawalls are able to keep coastal cities safe and allows them to recover farmland and rebuild supply chains. Because of the better situation, some countries reopen their borders to find stability. However, it is quite impossible to repatriate 1.2 billion NOPEDs as they become a permanent fixture in our economic, military, and social policy making. Meanwhile, NOPEDs still don't trust governments that exile them and refuse to reassimilate. Their NOPED leaders emerge and inspire a new identity unbound to former nationality and rally people that feel the same way. Hashtag, we are NOPEDs. At the same time, US and Russia start to have conflicts as they try to seize control of this fast changing world. The Blackout, 2040. For an unknown reason, Space debris causes a sudden Kessler effect in space and more than 70% of all satellites malfunction and crashes to Earth. Planes started crashing, communication starts to fail, supply chains come to a standstill as is what unstable at the first place, and over 100,000 people are reported dead. No internet, no navigation, no surveillances, no storm forecasts. For the superpowers, no one can spy on each other so no one can trust each other. US and Russia accuse each other for the blackout, while some suspect no pets were behind it to sell anarchy. Former military and combat trained specialists amongst the no pets rise up into armed task forces to defend themselves as tensions rise. And when we are at the brink of war, a food and fuel shortage starts a shadow war between US and Russia. To maintain plausible deniability, both sides hired NOPAD task forces to represent them as the US and Russia promised refugees' resources. And in 2042, war is about to happen and NOPADs have no choice but to choose sides fighting not for a flag, but for their future. And that's the end of the backstory. In Battlefield 2042, specialists will completely replace the original class system which are or were Assault, Medic, Engineer, and Recon or Slash Scout, but these specialists are still based on the four classes with all of them have one unique speciality and trait. However, there are quite some concerns across the community about the uncertainty to implement this system, but I guess we will have more information regarding specialists later this year. We will have totally 10 specialists to choose from and play on the battlefield. Now we only know of four. The first one, is Webster McKay. His speciality is that he uses a grappling hook to help him gain advantage on positioning, or you can just use it to have faster movement speed and avoid damage. And his trait is Nimbo, which allows the player to have faster ADS movement speed. The second specialist, Maria Falk. She is based on the medic class. Her speciality is Serete Serete. Her speciality is Serete Serete Pistol. You shoot it at a teammate to heal them or you shoot at an enemy to damage them, 
and a trait is Combat Surgeon. She can revive down allies to full health, which I assume with other specialists, you can revive your allies to full health. Otherwise, you know, Maria would be useless. And the third one is Pitor Boris Guskovsky. His speciality is the SG-36 Sentry System. He deploys a sentry gun and it will automatically spot and shoot at enemy targets within a certain area. And his trait is the Sentry Operator. He can spot the enemy with the sentry gun that is locked onto. And last but not least, we have Wickis Casper Vandale, and he is a recon class. His speciality is an OVP recon drone. The drone helps spot nearby enemies and uses EMP blasters to disorient enemies. The drone can also be used to designate enemies with lock-on weapons. This trait is movement sensor. It warns the player about enemies they are closing in no matter when you're using or not using the drone. So I've been recording this video for a couple of days now, and there are more and more new information every single day. A Reddit user called the Real Space Horse put together all the weapons that are in the trailer. And since I don't know too much about weapons, I'm just gonna let you take a look at it. And also the link to the Reddit page is in the description. So take a look at it, upload it, and do whatever you want with it. At the launch of this game, we're gonna have seven maps to play with. And the first one is called Orbital in Guru, French Guiana. And this is the one map that we saw on the trailer with rocket and on the battlefield website it states that there's also gonna be a hurricane. The second map is Hourglass in Doha Krita. I'm sorry if I make any wrong pronunciation, correct me if you want to. And through some pictures on Twitter, there's gonna be a sandstorm in this one. And the third one is gonna be Kaleidoscope in Songdo, South Korea. And the description in the official battlefield site Seep line between skyscrapers and fight among the plazas surrounding the city's iconic data center. So there might be a way for us to travel between different buildings. The fourth one is manifest in Brandy Island, Singapore. And we're gonna have tropical tornadoes and mainly cargo containers in this one, like the one you see in the trailer. And the fifth one is discarded in Alang, India. And again, the description on the website says that there's also gonna be a storms. And the sixth map is Breakaway in Queen Mode Land Antarctica, like the one you see in the trailer. And last but not least, the seventh one is called Renew in the Eastern Desert, Egypt. There's a giant wall in between the two different areas. It's built to secure rich man-made agricultural areas. So there's gonna be two different sceneries, I suppose. And I think it's gonna be great. And I can't wait to see the graphics in this game. So, we pretty much covered everything that is new and different this time around in Battlefield 2042. And there is still one more category to talk about which is the game modes. This time Battlefield will still have their classic conquest and breakthrough, however there is a slight change. For conquest, you need to take several flags around a sector instead of just one big individual control point like we used to have. And since Battlefield 2042 hosts 128 players, on the new console and PC, you have more space to operate and flank on Breakthrough. Also, in Battlefield 2042, we are having new modes. One is named Harsh Zone, and I don't think this is Battle Royale as some dive said that Battle Royale is still in development and is not determined whether it's gonna be in the game or not. And one more mode is a Redacted, and is created as a love letter to the fans and a new way to play Battlefield, however, we still don't know what it is. Maybe we're gonna have some footage in the gameplay review later today. And yeah, I'll see you after the gameplay review, and we're gonna talk about the gameplay next time. See you around.